This is the era of business intelligence analytics and Power BI is leading that. You want to learn Power BI? This is the channel for you. Beginner series, 200 plus videos, advanced series, 100 plus videos. And if you are absolute beginner, don't know anything in Power BI, then start with four live videos. Subscribe to the channel. Hello and welcome to another video on beginner tutorial series. And in today's video, we are going to discuss one Power Query function and the function is table dot expand list column in this table dot expand list column one of the column in the table is a list and we are going to expand that into multiple rows so let's look at that so the function basically table dot expand list column takes a table as an argument and takes a column name the column name where the list has been provided so the given table where a list of values split into each a row each value values in the other columns are duplicated for each row so with the what would happen this particular column would be splitted and the other columns would be duplicated okay so let's look at an example here it has been given there is a list there is a single column basically and there's a discount value and it has been converted into multiple rows so to understand that we have to go to the power bi and try this example out uh, or we can create our own so let's go ahead and to the Power BI and in Power BI to go to the Power Query, we will go home, transform data, transform data. Once we reach to the Power Query, we will go to the Home tab, New Source and Blank Query because we want to write down our own code. We, we are going to create the table with the code only. So let's bring in this code and to you know understand this code well, let me first create this as a source. So part of this, let me create as a source. So right click on the query, go to advanced editor or in the home tab, you have an option. It would be like a text. You give this table from records, which contains a list. And then we got this list column. Now I want to expand this and to expand this, I can have an, you know, I'm already been shown an icon here to expand this, but I would like to expand this using the function and let me call it list expand, double click and rename or right click rename there is an option i given something wrong here so i need to correct that now again i i need to open advanced editor i'm going to leave the table as is i will not i can create a new step comma enter and underscore expand and typically whenever i'm creating this steps i am using this uh, underscore to differentiate table dot expand list column we have a list column i need to give a table and source is my table right now so my table is source as capital and next one is only a text column name which is needed which is nothing but name here and we can say done now why it is not returning the reason is we have not done one step is basically to bring out this in statement here and we say done. Now you can see you are seeing the expanded table with the three rows. So now let's do one thing let's create uh, one more uh, table. So to create that one let's take uh, the code here uh, we go to the advanced editor of the table one and here we have a code for a table. Uh, so let's take this code, control C and let's bring in a new blank query and let's call it licks expand to right click advanced editor, paste this and let's see if we can create a list here. Fine, so same way.
So we got the list here in all the three columns. Now we we got this data. Now these three columns, the column A itself is a list. Again, we are getting an expand icon. So one way is that we expand this. So we can see how Power BI does it. But first, let's manually does it. So advanced editor. Before I do it, let's duplicate this. So we'll see how Power BI does it and how we run it manually. So duplicate it. So now this manually, let's do it manually. Right click, advanced editor. And here, uh, let's do the operation here itself, isn't it? Table dot expand. I think it is. It's not suggesting, so better let's take new line. It so comma enter underscore convert equals to or transform table dot something is wrong here. Let's copy the function. Let's see after that, what does it give? And we give the table name, which is source. And we give the column name, which is nothing but A. And we return convert. And we are getting an expanded code. Now, how does Power BI will do it? So we now get it done using the code. You can see the code convert code here. Okay, this was the table. This was the convert code. Now let's go here. Try to expand it manually. Expand into new rows. Expand list column is the step which Power BI also, also taken it. So now we know how this has worked. Now you exactly know how whenever you got a list into the column, how can you expand it manually or as well as using those uh, arrows on the top of the column name, you can expand it by using the menu option or you can go ahead and manually write down your code. So go ahead and try that out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.